Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC9 back in a video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay featuring a squad where I'm going to be using the tallest players at every single position in NBA 2K1919. Now, quickly, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys do drop a like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can smash 700 likes on this video. And also, I did want to say that if you guys have any other squad builder suggestions, always feel free to leave them in the comments below. Trust and believe when I say this, guys. I do read and respond to every single comment. So if you guys have any future squad builder ideas, make sure you guys do drop them down below in the comment section. So in this video, like I said, we're going to be doing the tallest players at every single position. So let's just dive straight into it and form this squad together. Because as you guys can see on the screen, we have a squad of 13 players of nobodies. 13 gray spots on the roster that need to be filled. So let's go right on ahead and fill the squad up and then we're going to begin the gameplay with that squad. So first things first, at the point guard position, we have ourselves the tallest point guard in NBA history. He is a Ben Simmons in the form of an Amethyst. I don't have the MT to get the Galaxy Opal, but this Ben Simmons is a moments card right here and he is 6'10", the tallest point guard in NBA history. Now off the bench at the point guard position, we're obviously going to be running people at their true positions. We have ourselves the second tallest point guard in NBA history. He is a pink diamond Magic Johnson standing in at 6'9". Now moving right along to the shooting guard, we have ourselves a pink diamond Pedro Stojakovic. He is standing in at 6'9", the tallest shooting guard in NBA history is this card right here. And I know that there are other Pedro Stojakovic cards like the ruby and the diamond, but the pink diamond one just came out yesterday and I figured you guys want to see some gameplay of him, trying me to use him a little bit. I didn't get gameplay on him yesterday just because I was really, really busy focusing on the other content that dropped, but... We're going to be featuring this page on the squad right here. And now moving on to the bench at the shooting guard position. We have a 6'8 shooting guard. And he is Diamond Tracy McGrady, who is my favorite player in NBA history. Obviously, like I said, he's standing in at 6'8. He is the second tallest shooting guard in NBA history, which is why he's going to be coming off the bench. So moving right along to the small forward position right here, guys. We have ourselves a Diamond Giannis. Diamond Giannis' true position is a small forward. But you guys know the Bucks like to run him at the point, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. The Bucks run him everywhere on the court. He is standing in at 6'11", and his primary position is a small forward. So he's going to be playing at the small forward in this video. At the backup small forward position, this card surprised me. I did not expect this card to be 6'11", as well. This card right here is a Sapphire Tony Kukoc. Standing in at 6'11", primary position is a small forward. Moving right along to the power forward in the starting five, we have this Amethyst Christos Porzingis throwback elite for the New York Knicks. He is standing in at 7'3". Now moving on to the power forward off of the bench, he is a silver card. Yes guys, he's a silver card. Standing in at 7'1", he needs some contracts, but this card right here is a silver dragon bender, 7'1". Now moving on to the center position in this starting five, he is the tallest player in NBA history. He is a Manu Bull in the form of an Amethyst, standing in at seven feet, seven inches tall. Moving on to the center off of the bench, we have ourselves another center, obviously, who again is the tallest player, and I'm trying to find him. Oh, here he is. He's a Sapphire George Mershon, also standing in at 7 foot 7, 7 feet 7 inches tall. And here is the 10 man squad, the tallest players at every single position in NBA 2K1919. Now, the last three players on this squad were bronze players, just to throw them in. We're only going to be rocking out with a 10 man rotation, 10 man roster in this video. So, yeah, here is the squad. Now, without further ado, let's take them into Unlimited and see if we can get a W in some gameplay with them. So. Go get some gameplay. Here we go. We have found ourselves a match, and his team is pretty undersized compared to mine. His point guard is Gary Payne. I believe he's six foot three. Simmons is six foot ten. Manu Bull at the center, seven foot seven. His center is Lonzo, uh, Lonzo Morning standing at six foot ten. We literally have the height advantage everywhere on the court. We should get the W in this game. Looks like he went into the full court press. Not a bad decision considering these guys are pretty slow. We got Paige again in block. We got Giannis though in the left corner. Wide open. Catch and shoot for Giannis for three. And that's good. Nice corner three ball by Giannis. Good deep from Giannis getting a block. Paige is on the wing right here. Going to stop and pop and see if we can get back to back three. Start off this game. Yes, we can. He rattled that one in there. Starting off this game right with back to back three pointers. A little too far. That's a little too far. 
Not have Hall of Fame limitless range. Good boy by Simmons. Run a fast break. And even to Giannis. Giannis is going to go all the way with foot of steam to the paint. And miss to have the contested layup. But we are going to get the offensive rebound. Ben Simmons has a height advantage over Gary Payne. And we're just going to muscle him into paint and shoot it over Gary Payne. That bucket was a little too easy for Ben Simmons. It still blows my mind how Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons has a 98 three ball with a boost. That completely blows my mind. We do have the Amethyst Ben Simmons going all the way with a two-handed dunk. But I still can't get over the fact of how unrealistic 2K can be at times. I say can be because sometimes they are realistic, but most of the time they're not. And it's just crazy how unrealistic they can be. Like, you guys know how in Madden, they make their attributes true to their cards. Last time I played Madden Ultimate Team was like Madden 25. Hold on, we got Ben Simmons going all the way right here. Ben Simmons has his takeover activated my opponent himself a time out early on in this ball game. But back in Madden 25, you know, the cards are realistic. Guys like Nadama Sue and, you know, cards like Warren Sapp didn't have 99 speed, you know, defensive tackles. Just kind of weird and blows my mind how crazy 2K can be when it comes to the unrealisticness of my team. Let's get Simmons isolation right here with this slashing takeover. Please spread the floor out so we can get a blow by and a dunk. There he goes. Floor spread out for Simmons. He's getting a contact dunk over to Jontae Murray. That's exactly what I wanted in that offensive possession. Let's go, Ben Simmons. Again, he got a little piece of takeover left. Trying to use this one. Going to attack it. Kicking him a new ball in the paint. He's jumping at the air. Easy layup from new ball. He barely had to jump to get that one to go. And so our second quarter right here, I do have the bench unit in here assembled into this ball game. Magic Johnson at the helm at the point guard position. Came to Ku coach. Who coach hops up into the paint, going up with the layup and converts it. Nice layup right there. Quick bucket from Ku coach to start off this second quarter. Look at him getting a block. Like, I did not expect him to get that block. Got Silver Dragon Bender kicking to Magic. Magic hops up into the paint, going all the way, muscling DeJounte Murray and missing the open layup. Wow. It's all good though. We got T Mac fading for mid range green light from T Mac. Nice shot from T Mac off the bench. He is our offensive superstar off the bench. My opponent needs himself another timeout in this ball game. I high key forgot that we had T Mac coming off the bench. I have got to use him and go to work with him. Oh, he's reaching. We got to be teaching T Mac 4 3 on the line from deep. Missed it. But look at Mershon. Look at how big that boy is. Getting the bucket, getting offense rebound, going up in the paint and getting a bucket over Joe Kim Noah. Joy Mershon, run the floor. I understand you're very slow, but if you're on the floor, I'm going to reward you. He is running the floor and getting the slam dunk in the paint. Let's go, Mershon. Can I get that steal as well? Look at this man. Look at how much of a glitch he is. Seven foot seven, pure glitch. He didn't have to dunk. He didn't have to jump for that dunk right there. Good D, good defense in the paint. And boy by Ku coach. T Max on a fast break, gonna give it to him. One more to George Mershon. Give it to Mershon. Just have him go up in the paint. Miss it. You know he's gonna get his offensive rebound though. He's in the paint again, going up with this one and making that layup. It's crazy because my opponent's not even getting a lightly contest on Mershon in the paint. This guy is feasting right now. It's going to work with T-Mac right here. Oh, nice snatch back. T-Mac 4-3. That's off. But look at Mershon. I can't believe he got that rebound. Going to give it back to him in the paint. Mershon with the layup. Only lightly contest. Missed it. This man is just feasting on the boards. Getting Joe Kim Noah in the air. Going up with it again and getting a green light. This Mershon has to be the biggest glitch in 2K. My opponent's not even getting a contest on him in the paint. And now my opponent needs to get himself another timeout. Look at the defense from Mershon getting a block. Wow, I low-key might have to use this card on my God Squad because my opponent's literally getting no contest. I have no idea how he made that shot, though. Anyways, though, my opponent's literally not getting con a contest on Mershon. It's literally crazy. Magic with a clear into the bucket, laying it up, and getting a green light right there. But wow, this Mershon card is literally incredible. And he almost got that steal. We got out of the way from Team Mac. Going to give it to Ku Coach on the left wing right here. Ku Coach catching and shooting a three ball and knocking it down. Let's go. 21-point lead now for us. In the second half right here, we're still doing our thing. Give it to Mershon right here. Going to the bucket all the way with the layup. George Mershon now has 22 points in this ball game. And wow, my opponent looks like he's going to use all of his timeouts in this ball game. He needs yet another one. He is down to three timeouts remaining, and we now have a 25-point lead. Oh, good steal by Ben Simmons. That's a nice slam dunk. Ben Simmons came out of nowhere to get that steal. Keep doing our thing in the second half. My opponent's playing very reckless basketball right here. We see the paint. We couldn't get there, though. Couldn't get there for the block. It's all good, though. Give, give back to Ben Simmons. Why is my point guard playing Ben Simmons so high? I don't know. We got Manu Bowl, though, going all the way with an easy layup. Let's go, Manu Bowl. Manu Bowl right here in the paint. Nice dish to him from Porzingis. That's a two-handed dunk from Manu Bowl. We now have a 29-point lead in this man. Manu Bowl even got that steal. That's crazy. Hopped him through the paint, and that's not really the best shot. Wasn't really the best shot at all. 
But it's all good though. We're up by almost 30 points in this third quarter. Got my new bull right here in the low post. Speed him the rock. Let's go to work on this Joe Kim Noah. All we gotta do is muscle this Joe Kim Noah in the paint and just shoot it over him. Cause that's how ridiculous paint mashing is in this game. We did it with George Mershon, and now we we're gonna paint mash as well with my new bull. My opponent as well is playing reckless basketball, now we're playing the best. We got Pager wide open in the right corner, catching and shooting. Pager, bang! Knocked down that corner three, giving us now again a 30 point lead. Out of bounds, our ball with three minutes left, guys. I'm 100% sure it's safe to say this ball game is all wrapped up. We're gonna walk out here with the W. So, GG to my opponent right here. We're gonna walk out of here with a 30 point victory. My opponent did play a good one. Much respect to him. I'm just gonna dribble off the clock. Show my respect to him. GG to him. He played a good one. Moving on to the boss score right here, George Mershon ended up finishing off this game with 22 points, Simmons with 14, Pedro with 13, Manupo with 13, Giannis with 8, Kukos with 5, Johnson Magic with 4, Magic Johnson with 4, Chris Osborne with 2, T Mac with 2, Bender with 2, and obviously the three bronze players did not play. So yeah guys, pretty much gonna wrap up this video. I had a lot of fun recording and getting gameplay with this squad. This squad builder was a successful one because we were able to walk out of here with this W. And like I said in the intro, if there are any more squad builder ideas, you guys have it, you guys like to see me upload on a channel, make sure you guys do leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I do read and respond to every single comment. And yeah, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys have any great ideas, and I will definitely do those. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys consider that subscribe button. Also drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys haven't done so already. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, this is YBC, and I'm out. Peace.